नम ओम विष्णु कृष्ण पृष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमाते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नम नमस्ते सरस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिने निर्विशेष सुन्नवादी पश्चत देश तारिने जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन प्रभु नितादैत गदाधर शिवाशनी गौरभक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 
Ramo Ramo Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Ramo Ramo Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Ramo Ramo Hare Jaya Prabhu Pada Jaya Prabhu Pada Prabhu Pada Jaya Prabhu Guru Dev Guru Dev Guru Dev Jaya Jaya Guru Dev Jaya Jaya Guru De Guru De Guru De Jaya Jaya Nitai Gaur Hari Bo Hari Bo Hari Bo Nitai Gaur Hari Hare Krishna, dear Prabhus and Mothers. Thank you for joining this beautiful session of Bhagavad Gita. Wednesday Bhagavad Gita, every Wednesday we're doing almost few years now. And we are on chapter 9. And we are on a very um, intriguing uh, questions about our apparent fall down from the spiritual path. Discussed and Lord Krishna gave a very good, nice conclusion in that sloka. So we did uh, study that sloka Prabhupada's purport last week, but we are going to uh, discuss a little more because this is one of the words that everybody um, sometime in their life asked that question. How much my responsibility, how much Krishna providing and who is responsible for my fall down or deviation from the spiritual path. So let us evoke the mercy of Srila Prabhupada and Guru Varga by chanting Mangala Acharan together. Om Ajnanati Mirandasa Genanjana Salakaya Chakshurun Militam Jena Tashmai Sri Guru Venama Sri Chaitanya Mano Vishtam Stapitam Jena Bhutale Shayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Shapadantikam Bandeham Sri Guru Sri Jutapada Kamalam Sri Gurun Vaishnavangsha Sri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raghunathanitam Tam Sajivam Sadaitam Sabadhutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Radha Krishna Padam Sahagana Lalita Sri Vishakhan Nitangsham Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Simate Bhakti Vedanta Samini Tinamini Namaste Sarasate Deve Gauravani Pracharine 
निर्विशेषुन्नवादी पश्चत दिशारिणे वंचाकुवेश कृपा सिंधु पतिता पावने भो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो 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 महाबदाय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाने गौरतिशे नम हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीनबंधु जगतपते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमस्तुते तप्त कंचन गौरंगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री आदित गदाधर शिवाशादी गौरभक्तविंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे हे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण कमनीय कृष्ण प्रभु नाइस टू सी यू प्रभु वी आर गोइंग टू रीड text uh nine chapter text 30 om namo bhagavate vasudevaya om namo bhagavate vasudevaya नम भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नर चरोतम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जा मुदीर नष्ट प्रायद्रेशु नीत भागवत सेवयां भगवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्ति भवती नैष्टकी मुखंकरतिचाल पंगुलंगयते गिरी जत्कृपातमह वंदे श्रीगुरुदीनतारिण परमानंदमाधव श्रीचैतन्यश्वर सो Dear Prabhus and Madhus, thank you for joining this session of Bhagavad Gita on Wednesday, 5 p.m. So I was making little notes from Sila Bhakti Vinod Thakur's um, wonderful thought. Who is responsible for coming down to this material world? Well, that's a big question. but relevant to this sloka how do we understand so bhakti vinod thakur in hari naam chintamani he gave a little hint of this very nice godai gorang jaye jan baji ban si adait jay si bhashadi bhakt gan so he asked the question what is sin s i n i don't mean canadian identity so in our bhakta ashram we have a one canadian devotee just joined today and so i asked uh, to see his id because he just joining he wants to have a training bhakta training because we already have seven devotees here all western body and it's very nice so he said you mean my sin uh, i said what do you mean sin i never knew that even though i'm in america over 30 years but i never in america you call social security or id you know you go to bank to cash a check say do you have id over there they call sin s i n <laughs> that's their id so it's interesting so bhakti vinod thakur right what is the origin of sin s i n papa and i found shilo propat's commentary very interesting 
He writes, Prabhupada writes, original sin means refusing to serve God and attempting instead to become God. So some, some devotee asked, is that a fact? Prabhupada said, yes, that is a fact. If you are not free, how can you commit sin? In order to say, hey, you committed sin, means you had that choice. Otherwise, you cannot even ask that question. So committing sin means, Prabhupada writes, we have the freedom to commit sin. And equality means that we all have small independence. We are equal in the sense that we can properly utilize or misuse our independence. Because we all have independence, we are equal. If we misuse it, we go downward. If we use it properly, we go upward. In the use of our independence, we have equal rights. The path of sin, any path which does not lead to knowledge of Krishna, sin has no other meaning. And virtue or saintliness means any course of thought or action which will lead to Krishna. So sinlessness means to abide by the request and order of Krishna. Sin means to disobey Krishna. If you look at nine aparad, ninth, ninth offense, namna, namna balad jesha hi papa buddhi, na biddhate tasya jami hi shuddhi. So what does that mean? means that when we commit sinful activities in the strength of the holy name. Well, this is not automatically happening. Uh-uh. Means we are intentionally doing it. That's why it's called offense. So then question comes, what is the origin of sin? So Bhaktivinoda Thakur, he put it, that sin may be analyzed in three stages. Papo are papo bija pape robasana avidda tahar mula eitin jantrana. Interesting. Sin is divided into sin. First is sin, papo, papo bija, seed of sin, and papo basana, the desire for sin. So sin. Seed of sin and desire of sin. Abhidda is ignorance, which is the root of sin. And these three bring suffering to the conditioned soul. Nobody would deviate if they did not have a desire to commit sin within their heart. So then question come, origin of that sin in the heart, where this come from? Obviously, it is not in spiritual world. It is in the Tatastha region. Because from Abhidda comes the Bija, seed of Papa. And from that seed, as it sprout the Basana, desire, I want to experience this kind of whatever nonsense, sinful activity. So the desire comes. And this desire, when get the fertile ground called body, you take birth with the body, then it manifests in a four way. One is prarabdha, one is aprarabdha, one is kuta, one is bija. I don't know if you can remember it. It will be nice if you remember it. So first is the seed. Misuse of free will cause the seed 
of sin. Then from the sinful reaction, or you can say unmanifested stage, two result comes. One is something manifest. Then it produces the result. And another is it takes a stops like sinful disposition. And then the desire comes. And then without feeling the desire and you you, you grant yourself, I don't care, I want it. I know it is illegal, I know it is bad, I know it is harmful, but I want it. When a living being say that I want it, then it activates. And that causes suffering and re-visit uh, the sibling place. In, in other words, um, let, let's look at this way. If you are a hunter and you release one arrow from your bow, the arrow that you released, in one sense, the, the arrow that released means you have no control on it anymore. Once it is released from your hand. What will it will hit? Who is going to do damage or whatever will happen? You literally have no control. So what does that mean? That means this body, this body, is all the moment it was born. Mm, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu counseled his mother after his wife passed away, first wife passed away, Lakshmi Devi. Um, Prabhu kahe sukhateji sunamora mata nirbandha naguchan likhan vidata. So, of course, he was acting as a family man, not as a god. <laughs> he is not teaching as a god, he is teaching as a family man, son. He is counseling to his mother that the moment the human body are born, the Brahmaji, Likhan Vidhata, Vidhata, Vidhata means the Brahmaji, who pays attention to all the human being. Brahmaji does not pay close attention to all the living being. Living being in a different species Automatically they go one after another, like a merry-go-round, merry-go-round, you're not non-stop. You know, like a roller coaster. Once it is off, that's it. It's going to go up, down, up, down, this life, that life, this life, that life, this life, that life, until it's like a dead end, stops. But human life, you can actually break out of that merry-go-round. That's why Brahmaji pays attention, close attention. What do you mean close attention? When a human child is born, Brahmaji comes, personally writes. The, in this life, what he or she is going to experience. Brothers and mothers, you are fixed. What do you mean fixed? Are you the maker of your destiny or life is predestined? Both. Predestined means how long you will be alive in this body is done. It's not calculated by American calendar or Gregorian or Christian calendar or Vedic calendar. It is calculated by breath. Inhale, exhale. Amount of the breath you have, that's all it is. That's why yoga helps to breathe slowly and breathe uh, longer time, which increases your lifespan, which is good. If you look at some animal like cats and dogs, they only live 12 years, 15 years, max 20 years. They breathe always. I don't know if you can hear them. 
The dog, they, they cat, they breathe very quick and they die. Whereas you look at turtle, elephant, they live 100 years or even more. They breathe like almost a minute out and slowly in. So are you predestined? Yes, in a sense. What disease? When you'll be rich? When you'll be poor? When you'll be bankrupt? I mean, spiritually, we all are bankrupt. bankrupt. But I mean, materially, when you'll be bankrupt or when you will win the super lotto, if there is in your life. These are already predestined. Prefixed. Nothing a soul can do. How you will react on it, it's up to you. That is not predetermined. So, yes, predestined and you also making your destiny. Both are right. So that's Prarabdha Karma. The arrow that is released, sanctioned by super soul, and you have released as a soul, and you're going to experience in this life, you do not have any choice. Now, Prabhus and Mothers, this is for all the human beings, except the devotees, because they are connecting with Krishna, and when they connect with Krishna, according to their surrender or submissiveness or humility, it can change. Jivanam sarva bhuteshu tapasyashi tapasyashu. In that verse, Prabhupada writes <coughs> in seventh chapter, Jivanam sarva bhuteshu, that lifespan of all the living being is determined by Krishna. He already gave. Their Prabhupada writes that he can increase and decrease as, like for an example, Prabhupada did tell his disciples, please pray that our Guru Maharaj did not finish his mission. He has come to preach Krishna consciousness in English medium, in English audience, but his mission has not finished yet. He just started and this is in 1968. Prabhupada was sick in New York. So he did tell devotee, disciple, to pray for that. And Prabhupada lived another 10 years, 11 years, you can say. So we see that prayers has a... So when we pray, in other words, predestined is not actually applicable. It is up to Krishna. Dikshakale Shishokare Atma Shamarpan, Sheikale Krishna Tare Kore Atma Sham. In other words, at the moment of initiation, disciples surrender. I hope everybody surrender. If you didn't surrender, you better try to make it happen as soon as possible. Means you do what Guru wants you to do, that will please Krishna. And success, of course, surrender means it has a six component. It's not just the word, I'm surrender, Prabhu, I'm done. No, no. Surrender means consciously, all the time, until your last breath, you are holding a conscious decision. I will do what pleasing Prabhupada and Krishna. I will not do what is not pleasing Prabhupada and Krishna. Anukulyasya sankalpa pratikulyasya varjana. So these are conscious choice. Surrender is not a one-time job or graduation from a school. Surrender is constant. Negative, positive within you till your last breath. Then you get enter into Bostu Siddhi place. That's why our Jogamaya will took, take over completely. Then, yes, then you don't have to worry about it. But until that, we have to have this. So, this is Prarabdha. Now, question comes. 
when we join in the Krishna conscious movement, what the first thing happens? First thing is absence of <clears throat> material torture stops you for a while. So you feel happy for a while, you know, one month, two months, one year, two years, five years. And then you don't feel any more happy. I was very happy when I joined because it's absence of material three modes in inflicting on your, you know, day-to-day -day torture. You are like kind of absence. Absence of suffering is also a happiness, but it is not really happiness, but it looks like. I desperately have a headache and doctor gave me medicine. So it blocks the experience of pain. Painkiller blocks, but that doesn't mean pain is not there. Pain is still there. And that circulation blocked is still there, but I'm not experiencing. Okay, that's also a, one type of happiness in a sense. When you join to Krishna consciousness movement, you take the path seriously. First thing is not happening of your prayer of the karma. I hope everybody understand this. This you have to remember. Prayer of the karma is not actually getting destroyed in the beginning. What is getting destroyed is aprarabdha. Aprarabdha means unmanifested reaction. Reaction in pipeline. They may fructify in this life or maybe next life or who knows, another 10 lives. So brothers and mothers, when you join, you feel the absence of the safari uh, material modes. So you feel some happiness for a little while. But then you become serious student that time. All you are doing through your seriousness, you breaking the arrows that in the quiver on the back. Not the arrow you released. The arrow that released is Prarabdha Karma. That is still there. But the, in the back of your quiver, there's so many arrows. They are yet to fructify. You are completely destroying it. So you may not feel happiness for a few years or something, but nonetheless, keep on going, growing, not going only, growing, G-R-O-W. G-O-I-N-G is good, but G-R-O-W-I-N-G will be better. So going and growing spiritually means you may not feel any relief, but you keep on going and growing. You are actually stopping future birth. No more birth. No more birth. Because all the arrow that whole waiting for your future life experience is destroyed. It's very nice. Very exciting. Try to feel happiness through philosophy in the beginning of life. Chanting Hare Krishna, hearing the philosophy, looking at the deities, good association. Then, of course, honoring prasadam, Krishna prasad. All this combined together, the sadhak proceed towards that. There are some impression, even astrologer cannot find it. When astrologer look at your life, the genius astrologer, they may tell you about opera of the but kuto and bijo sometimes is difficult even for them. You, you you may notice some people was a nice person. All of a sudden, some kind of sinful or inclination like developed in them. And they don't know where this is coming from. Are Baba, this Maharaj was nice. Why Maharaj fell down with this? Persons like little, very confusing. These are called kuta. It was there. It was not destroyed yet. That can be destroyed only when you repent of your deplorable situation that you, many life, did not serve Krishna. When you regret, regret, kuta can be destroyed. Without regretting, it is not going to go away. Because those 
inclination that all of a sudden you are getting name, fame, you learned also good and you're growing spiritually. All of a sudden this hidden little deep unfulfilled desire lying in the heart dormant for many life spikes up. Or you may have little offensive nature to another senior Vaishnava. This can ignite very quick. And if you don't guard, you don't destroy it, it may take over the consciousness. And then that person thinks, well, I'm still young. Maybe I should enjoy it. And that's how one... Uh, anyway, I don't blame that Maharaj. He's a very nice. He did a lot of services. But the way he said, you know, I felt like I joined in a very early age. But these are all secondary talk. These are not valid talk. Now, of course, you realize that it was not actually true. Something somewhere do, did mistake. It is not how much, <clears throat> how much, or, or 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 it is not so much like well I don't have anything that can pull me down, but what about the people who I hurted? They may be holding something. I may be feeling free from everything, to be out of Maya's trap. But what about the people are holding emotional torture or abuse or something that due to my presence in their life? Be very careful. Those things are called kuto bijo. Kuto bijo means they are like hidden impression that is not visible. Astrologer cannot find in the chart. They cannot, but it is there for future fructification, all of a sudden you are burning all this sin uh, and bija uh, basana, the, the, the desire, uh, seed, everything into ashes. Then all of a sudden those things like at the dormant about to come on the surface and they comes up. And then if we flow uh, of offensive nature, just uh, give them a chance to spike on our surface. And then all of a sudden we may feel like, okay, I work very hard. Maybe I should take a little time off and just take it easy. Who is dictating you? Be very careful. It's a trap of Maya. Krishna is merciful. And Krishna is always looking to the welfare of his part and parcel, not being able to bear the suffering of the jiva. Krishna always tries to help us. That's why by the process of bhakti, the first of material solution or the last of the senses leaves the heart. And one is able to look with content on the endeavor to acquire Beautiful, opposite sex or wealth. One lives satisfied with one's constitutional service to the Lord. Prabhus and mothers, the devotees accept everything favorable to the development of bhakti. And they reject everything unfavorable to bhakti. He regards Krishna alone as his protector and maintainer and gives up all ideas of the selfish concept. Aham mamata, I and my. Thinking himself very low, worthless, devotee will continuously chant the holy name. And anyone takes shelter <clears throat> of the name in this way will remain free from committing sin or sinful activities, even if they come on the surface. In other words, we have to be just careful. That's all.
Now, if you say committing sin on the strength of chanting holy name, what is that means? So Bhaktivinoda Thakur write, Nam Bale Papa Charan Karir Parinam Kintu Jodi Kono Jan Name Kari Bal Achara Nutana Papa Se Jana Chanchal. She ke bolo kapotata koriya ashray namo aparat pai shoko mriti bhai. The way I look at the translation. If I deliberately commit sin on the strength of the holy name, a mischief monger, Prabhu's and mother, who takes shelter of trying to cheat the holy name at a because of his offense to the holy name, grief, fear, and death. Now on the text 30, Bhagavad Gita 9.30, it talks about accidental and deliberate action or defense. Last week we discussed that. So Bhaktivinoda Tagore gives the similar. He says, Pramada of Vichitrata Karmer Bhet there is a difference, he writes. He writes that accidental and deliberate action are completely different. This truth is revealed in the heart of devotional scripture, Bhakti Shastra. So, Prabhu's and Mother, sinful activities are how many types? Two types. Two types. One is accidental, one is deliberate. So when with a steady mind, when I'm careful, and I think I'll do this one sin, that is deliberate sin. The two kinds of sin are very different. However, there is another type of sin. If somebody intentionally commit a new sin out of lust, thinking that there will be no bad effect because I'm chanting so many years. And I'm sincere every day. I'm chanting, getting up and chanting. Come on, this little enjoyment, sinful activity is okay. Who is talking? Who is telling me it's okay? So Bhaktivinoda Thakur right, means the person who is thinking that he is not serious devotee. And then he says, actually he is a cheater. Wow, that scared me when I read that. From his offense against the name, he will reap lamentation, fear and death. Would you like to enjoy for a few years illegal activities and repent for life, few lives? If you say yes, go for it. If you say no, then stop it before even it happens. This is just my way of looking at it. You can take your way. So Bhaktivinoda Thakur write, two types of sinful activity may be distinguished. What is what are they? Unpremeditated and premeditated. Premeditated means I want to enjoy. That person is available. I can do illegal. It's all right. I did so many years chanting. I'm a nice devotee. Krishna will forgive me. This is a gross difference between the two according to scriptures. Now, in the case of ordinary sin, one can counter it by praschitta. Praschitta means uh, you do some uh, recommended uh, rituals to counter. But if one even think of committing sin on the strength of the holy name, there is no remedial measure. So serious is the offense. Even endless torture by the servant of Jamaraj cannot deliver him from the offense. And if thinking 
of committing the offense to the name brings such suffering, how much more will be the suffering from actual committing such an act? Now, I hope some of you are not thinking like, gosh, that's so harsh, so bad. Compared to like this, you know proper utility of the body. Kormi outside, they don't know proper utility of the body. So if a Kormi ignorant person in America, because we are in America, uh, a young boy or girl commits suicide. Okay. In mature death, he will become, he will get a ghost body. Ghost body, the word ghost body means he will go through a term well. Trauma, you know, crazy life. It's a horrible, horrible, torture life. But if a devotee knows the value of life, not if, devotee does know the value of life, that this is the only life that you can awaken love for Krishna. You can literally stop your travel, traveling or trip in material world. You can literally stop. But in that case, instead of doing proper thing, if you torture the body by killing it untimely, like in other words, if a devotee commits suicide, he will suffer thousand times more than outsider karmi. And it makes reasonable. I am not, I, I agree with that. If I leave a money purse, you know, uh, on my table, if there's a uh, one year old child pick up the money purse versus 20 years old uh, young boys took the money purse, is the punishment going to be same? No. One year old has no clue. I may not even chastise or anything. I'll just take the parts and say, I need it back. Okay. But 20 years? Oh, no. You have to counsel. You have to really show your anger in a sense that this is deadly sinful. Stealing at 20 years old, stealing somebody's purse. Similarly, if devotee commit sinful activities. They are. Okay. Now, question is, why it is so harsh? Because cheating mentality blocks our progress in spiritual path. Holy name, yes, removes the effect of, of more sin than one can commit in 10 million lifetimes. The famous Bars Prabhupada quote, uh, eh, uh, ek, uh, ek Krishna name jato paap hare, paapi hoye tato paap korite nare. This is also famous verse quoted by Mahaprabhu. Um, Subuddhi Rai and Mahaprabhu's discussion. That uh, holy name is so powerful. Uh, if I ask you a question, if you have some chitta, you know, like ants in your house. Now ants in your house, so many ants in your kitchen. So it may be disturbing. And you may have a pet, a lion pet. Now will you engage lion pet to uh, scare the ants? I mean, lion is a very fearful animal. But I don't think you will engage a, a lion to scare the ants. So why that example? Because sin is sin is like ants. They are not that, that serious obstacle in our life. But offense, offense, becomes like a tiger, lion type of animal. 
they are scary. Now, why it is like this? Why that sin become offense? In, in Bhagavatam says, Namabhas can remove even the uh, any amount of sin you have, Namabhas. You don't even need pure name to remove the sin. Namabhas itself is powerful to remove. So then why we are discussing so much? Because it is ultimately boils down to each of our cheating mentality. Cheating mentality. I may give up regular work as difficult, take the cloth of renunciation, but still associate with the opposite sex and try to steal wealth or collect wealth for sense gratification. Using the position as a sannasi and taking advantage of illegal sex and the money because sannasi people give generally donation may not be in America, but you now even in America, if you go to Hare Krishna temple, the congregation they give donation to the sannasis. But in a taking the dress of a sannasi and having an affair and collecting money, should that sannasi not to be punished? Would anybody like to help me with that? Am I right or wrong? Yeah, Babaji, he should be punished. Thank you. I was thinking like you're going to say, well, let's forgive him for now. <laughs> but why are you taking Sanna's dress to do this? Babaji, I have one question. If you don't. Mm. Can I ask? Sure. Babaji, you said that cheating mentality. So I was wondering that from where this cheating mentality comes? Misuse of free will causes four things. Brahm, Pramad, Vipralipsha, Karana, Pato. Four defects we all have. Well, I should not say we all have because you all are devotee. But conditioned soul like me, we have. I have. Commit mistake. Illusion, cheating propensity, imperfect senses. Bhakti can remove this, but I have to allow Bhakti to remove. But if I'm holding it, what Bhakti Devi can do? But it is there, Prabhu. Misuse of free will means I don't want to serve Krishna. You will agree with me. We can go out and meet 10 families, see how many will agree to serve Krishna. Not necessarily. If we're lucky, if we get five out of 10. Am I right? If we go out tomorrow in America, wherever we are, you are in Tampa, I'm in uh, Alachua. But if we meet somewhere, say Orlando, we are going to stop our car and go 10 houses. Say, would you like to serve God? See how many people agree. If we get 50%, we are lucky. If we get one, I will be lucky. I think. They have their idea. No, we don't need. It's okay, we are okay. We don't need. So, this is their own free misuse of free will. They are choosing. So th this Prabhuji come, it will prevail even if into the advanced devotee also or like it is, it, it, or it will prevail until our material body is there. Like when, is there any chance that when you progress something that you know, it will go away or maybe it will not reappear at all? Everything you have around you are connecting through consciousness. So these four defects are there in the storage called source of desire, heart. 
So then we may be walking or or driving. All of a sudden you think, I like that one. I don't like this. Who is deciding? Why are you deciding? It's not that you're deciding or anything. It's just like a popping in front of you and you're just reacting on it. I like this. I don't like this. I like this. I don't like this. It's like all, all day. But if we focus on, will this please Guru and Krishna? Will this please Prabhupada and Krishna? Then we are purifying, spiritualizing. Those impression is there, Prabhu. We cannot avoid it. Let's put it that way. The condition, uh, the four defects that causes this, it's there. We cannot deny. But we can utilize it for Krishna. Oh, this, uh, this uh, slaughterhouse, we cannot use for Krishna consciousness. Uh -uh. Okay, there's a flower shop. Yes, we can use that for Krishna's making garland. So like that. Negative, positive, negative, positive. We cannot use this. We can use this. Yes, we can use this. We cannot use this like this. Then your consciousness is purifying, going towards to Krishna. And more we practice this, more we act on it, we are becoming spiritualized. And that's the only way you will come out of it. How much impression is there in the source of our desire? I don't know. Only Krishna knows. But you know, thus, if we make the surrender a little faster, those things Krishna can destroy all this impression. Not that he will destroy it, we will pray for it. My Lord, please protect me. Please destroy all my material desire. Then he will des destroy. Try to understand Prabhu. Krishna is not going to do something you did not ask for. So if we pray to him, I don't want material desire, please purify me, please help me, then Krishna will help you. But we have to pray for it. You remember that example Prabhupada gave? Guru may be very strong. Oh, I have a very pure Guru. That's good. Guru said, you are in a deep dark well, hold on to the rope tightly. Follow for regulatory principle, chant 60 now. No, no, Gurudev, I can't do this. You do it for me. You are strong. But Guru is above the well. He is strong. Yes, I agree. And he, he can pull you out. Yes, but he cannot pull you out if you don't hold on to the rope he's sending. So what I'm trying to say that we have our responsibility. We have to follow for regulative principle. We have to follow 16 down minimum. We have to do some seva. We have to do some sadhaya, good association, only prasadam, and share this knowledge with others. If we do this every day, then and pray to Krishna to destroy all material desire. Sometimes even as a devotee, when material desire in you know, opulence comes, you bought a one house, now you bought a two house, now you bought a three house, you feel happy. Yeah, Krishna is giving me good. What do you mean Krishna is giving you? It was already there. Krishna is give, not giving you. It's just sanctioning you. So you enjoy the material, I said, yes. So then Krishna will keep on, okay, sanctioning it. But if you say, no, 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 I want spiritual connection more deeper. That verse is very famous. Um, Prahlad Maharaj said similar verse. Jata Dukkha Bhat Sukham 7.6.3 or 5 I forgot. Sukham Indrikam Daitta Deha Jogena Dehina Sarbatra labbate daiva jata dukkavar ajatnati. Sukham indrikam daitta. Prahlad Maharaj is teaching to the demoniac children. That what amount of um, people are always hankering for happiness. 
But nobody planned for suffering. But suffering is coming without invitation. Why you want to waste your time? If you look at that verse, Prabhu, Sukham Aindraikam Daita, Deho Jogena Dehin, Sarbatra Labbate Daiva, Jata Dukhavat Ajatnata. And in the purport, if I'm not mistaken, Prabhupada says something. Many years back I read, that was so nice. Prabhupada says, since how much happiness and suffering is already fixed, but what is not fixed is bhakti. So in other words, whether you will buy three houses or no houses or one house, it's already there. Don't hanker for it. It will come. When it is there, it will come. It is definitely going to come. Whether you want or not, it will come. But what will not come is Krishna consciousness. It's the only thing you can do as a human being. The desire and practice. As far what your destiny, how much money you'll get, Prabhu, how much happiness, how much suffering, that's fixed. It's not exactly like a where is it in a dollar or rupees? No, not not in a monetary figure way. How much happiness, how much suffering? That is fixed. Whether it comes through the dollar or accident or this, that, that's details. But Krishna consciousness is not fixed. So that's the only thing we should try for. If anybody has that verse available, please read it. I think it's 7.6.3. So come yes. and read it. Okay. Yes, can you, can you read the translation and the purport, please? Translation. Prahlad Maharaj continued, My dear friends, born of demoniac families, the happiness perceived with reference to the sense objects by contact with the body can be obtained in any form of life according to one's past fruitive activities. Such happiness is automatically obtained without endeavor just as we obtain distress. Purport, mm. in the material world, in any form of life, there is some so-called happiness and so-called distress. No one invites distress in order to suffer, but still it comes. Similarly, even if we do not endeavor to obtain the advantages of material happiness, we shall obtain them automatically. This happiness and distress are obtainable in any form of life without endeavor. Thus, there is no need to waste time and energy fighting against distress or working very hard for happiness. Our only business in the human form of life should be to revive our relationship with the Supreme Personality of Godhead and thus become qualified to return home back to Godhead. Material happiness and distress come as soon as we accept a material body, regardless of what form. We cannot avoid such happiness and distress under any circumstances. The best use of human life, therefore, lies in reviving our relationship with the Supreme Lord Vishnu. Very nice. Thank you. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Such a wonderful purport. Thank you, Prabhus and Mothers. It's exactly six o'clock. I have an ashram class now. And I'm looking forward to see you all next Wednesday Bhagavad Gita session. This is a beautiful. We are in 9.30. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Vancha Kalpa Turu Vesha Ki Paas in the Vaivach. Patita Nam Pabunibhu, Vaishnavibhu, Namo Namah. Tila Prabhupada Ki Jai.